We have the big three on the women's <laughs> side, and that first match of Pam, I mean, it's going to be unbelievable. Well, it's been an incredible matchup the last year and a half, two years, between Serena Williams and Jennifer Capriati. A year ago, it was kind of all about Capriati winning these close matches between the two, and now Serena's figured out how to turn it around. Well, they both play such similar game styles. They're great athletes. They move around the court so well. They play great defense, great offense. The biggest difference is the serve, but this time last year, it was Jennifer Capriati who had Serena's number. Capriati faced Serena in the quarterfinals of the French Open. She was much more consistent than Serena. Serena had very little experience this time last year on the clay, had played very few matches. And in the quarters, it was just Capriati playing mentally tough. It went to three sets, but it was really one-sided. Capriati winning that match. They would play at Wimbledon in the quarters, and Serena would be up a set and a break and lose it. And then finally, the turning point at the Canadian Open happened for Serena, not only against Capriati, but in her career. She fought her nerve. She had a match point in the second set, didn't win it, but then dug deep and won the third set. And she was ecstatic after that win. That was a relief for her. She went on to the finals of the US Open, and then she won the season-ending championship. So a big turnaround in Serena's career. They faced this year a few times. This is in the finals of Miami at the NASDAQ 100. Serena, too tough, just overpowering, very solid. Just a few weeks ago at the Italian Open, Pam, it was Serena on the clay. You would expect Jennifer to be the slight favorite because she has more experience, but Serena proved us all wrong, showing her great transition game now, being more patient, much more comfortable on the sliding, and she's just playing really well. Mary Jo, take a breath. I mean, that's the kind of rivalry these two have had. It's been incredible. And what that means, because Serena Williams has won so many of those matchups against Jennifer Capriati, we have this ranking situation that is incredible. You've got number one in the world going to Venus no matter what happens the rest of the tournament. And if Serena beats Jennifer coming up, she will move to number two in the world. And the sisters will have one, two. Which would be unbelievable. It would be historic. I mean, there is a lot on the line right now in this match for Serena Williams. It's a big pressure match. Serena should have the mental edge because she's beaten Jennifer the last few times, but Jennifer has never lost to Serena in a Grand Slam. And don't forget Venus later on against Clarissa Fernandez. Venus going to be number one. But one of the great rivalries in tennis, men's side, women's side, it doesn't matter because Capriati and Serena have played some of the greatest matches in tennis the last year and a half. You're going to see power, you're going to see emotion, and the big rankings are on the line. Back live at Roland Garros, and boy, this semifinal, it just makes your mouth water. You see these matches every so often that come up in the majors, and you just can't wait. Number one against number three with a number two ranking on the line. Capriati will move down no matter what. But uh, it's about much more than the rankings. It really is. I mean, both players are going to be so determined to get through to the finals here. Capriati, the defending champion, she's 26 years old. She lives in Florida. She's been so solid, has had a good clay court season, even though she hasn't won a tournament. She's lost three matches, and that was the Schneider in Charleston, Serena in Rome, and Justine Enna in Berlin. Well, Jennifer Capriati, being the defending champion, was hoping to play her first big match on the one of the big courts, but instead, because of all the tough weather, she opened up out on court number two, and then as she moved around to the third round, she was playing some uh, pretty tough opponents, but she had comfortable time. She did. She was playing Evie Dominikovic in that third round. And then in the round 16, she would take on the tricky Swiss player, Patty Schneider, who she had lost to early in the clay court season. Je Jennifer knew she had to play her best tennis. She was aggressive. She was very focused. And it was two tight sets. And in the quarterfinals, this was her toughest test against Yelena Dokic, who's in the top 10 now. Dokic is ball so hard, so flat. They had some amazing rallies, trading ground stroke for ground stroke. But it was Capriati in the end that showed her mental toughness and why she's a Grand Slam champion. That's right. From one all in the third set, Capriati just grabbed a hold of the match, just strangled Dokic into the locker room. And Capriati, a big smile there because that was a tough, tough match for her. And you can see her scores only the one drop set. But some awkward times against Frazier. There were 11 breaks of serve in the middle of that match in the second round. We were surprised to see that. But Frazier, a great returner. But never in doubt, Jennifer Capriati getting through this round. Serena Williams turned pro in 95. And of course, in 1999, won her first and only major but boy she is poised and ready to start winning majors again she's just so focused she's so determined she really wants it and that's been the biggest difference in my opinion she also has had an unbelievable clay court season for the first time she won a tournament on clay and just a few months ago she had never been past the quarterfinals and she looked very confident early on in the tournament 
very composed in the third round. She would play Husarova of the Slovak Republic. And Husarova is a good doubles player, but had no, not enough power to hurt Serena. And what I like about Serena, that even though she was the favorite and she was winning easily, she still kept focusing, still kept her concentration. Then she would take on Savannah Reva. This was her toughest match. She didn't know anything about the qualifier from Russia. She was 17 years old, but she was top one the last two sets easily. We thought Mary Pierce might give her a hard time in the quarterfinals, but Serena Williams was rock solid from every angle. She hit huge forehands, backhands, played up at the net, and her serve was impressive. It certainly was, and 6-1, 6-1 over Mary Pierce, who had a pretty nice run to get through to the quarterfinals. Pierce possibly on the comeback trail. Also, just one drop set, and look at all those 6-love, six 6-2, six six sets. Boy, Serena Williams has never been so confident. And coming into this clay court season, she'd never gotten past the quarterfinals on the slippery stuff. And she's just improved with each match, each week, every tournament. She just seems more confident. And again, she just wants it. She's determined. She wants to get to that number one ranking, wants another Grand Slam title. And she's shown us throughout this week. These two have faced off against one another nine times. You will see the 10th meeting in a major coming up next live from Paris Capriati Serena when the draw came out a couple of weeks ago you were supposed to see number one against number three in the semifinals but that doesn't always happen we're awfully glad it has because this is going to be a great match Capriati against Serena Williams and here is the ranking situation Venus will be number one no matter, and if Serena wins, she goes to number two, which is historic. And a few days ago, I asked Venus about this possibility, one and two for the sisters. Well, it looks very close at this point, um, especially with Serena only getting to the quarters last year, and myself, no points to defend. And uh, Jennifer is um, defending champion last year, so it looks very good for us to have opportunity to do it, but... More than anything, we just want to do well at the tournament. Then afterwards, we look at the rankings. And I think they know about the rankings. They know what this match means for Serena and for the family. Look how she's moved up Serena in the rankings. She's at her career high. She's just really made it her priority to play more tournaments, to stay healthy, Time. and to do well. Last year at the season-ending championships in Munich, Serena won over default because of or retirement because Lindsay Davenport's knee was injured she came up and spoke to Cliff Drysdale and myself and she said emphatically that her goal in 2002 was to get to number one in the world and she has systematically gone about it in a very impressive way despite the sprained ankle the first week of the year that she competed in Sydney she's playing more tennis both Venus and Serena are playing so much more than any other year and uh, that, coupled with quality play, is why we have this historic situation at hand. Well, they're taking it very seriously, and Serena has prepared herself so much better this year for the French Open. Last year, she didn't play any clay court tournaments between Miami and the French Open. She still got to the quarters. This year, with the extra tournaments, with the confidence of winning the Italian Open, she's much more prepared. And you know that Jennifer Capriati is very determined try and win this match she's played her best tennis the last year and a half at the majors that's what every tennis player dreams of doing but very very few are able to do it serena williams to start things off serena williams Jouer. I think the beginning of the match is going to be very important for Jennifer. She sometimes starts a little slow. I think it will also be important for her to get her timing on the second serve return. Serena has such a good kick serve. Stefano, Jennifer's dad, likes to go out there and have Steve and her brother beat her so many of them so she can find her timing. See mom, Oracine. It was a busy day again. <laughs> She's had a lot of busy days recently. Two good first serves. And the other day against Mary Pierce in the quarterfinals, Serena's serve was just like the rest of her game. Very well polished, 
very thoughtful with the positioning. Trente. There's Stefano Capriati, pensive at the beginning. Game point. Count up. A little bit of nerves early on for Serena, not quite moving her feet as well as we've seen her. Quite a few balls in the net can often mean a footwork problem and also your racket head just coming off the ball a little too soon. Oh, Another okay. one in the net. Early break point for Jennifer Capriati who actually takes a rare little stroll behind the baseline and holds her hand up and that's interesting that Capriati loves to play fast. It's slowing it down a tad. You see what happens? The server misses the first serve. Making Serena think about the serve a little longer. Jennifer Capriati, one love, first set. This is the first of two semifinals. After this one, Venus Williams, who will be number one in the world regardless, takes on Clarissa Fernandez. You have one, two, three, and 87 in the world, but she's moving way up. Her ranking's gonna jump to 34 regardless of the outcome of today's match. Jennifer choosing to throw in a little bit of a change-up serve to start off, and Serena punishes it. Love 15. Kanza. We should remind people, despite Serena's recent success against Capriati, the last couple times they've played in a major, it was Jennifer Capriati who was able to play the big points better and win close matches. Now that was a nifty trick. <laughs> it almost looked like uh, a lacrosse play. 15-30. Denise Capriotti, Jennifer's mom. It's their fourth meeting on clay. Trente quarante. A lot of power behind that return of serve. Capriati not getting her racket back quick enough. And now Serena can return the favor of an early break. Capriati right now just has to really focus on being consistent. Serena's going through a streak right here of making a lot of unforced errors.
Oh. That's a better forehand. The forehand has not found its mark too many times early in this match, but oh, that winner gives that yes. Serena a second chance to break back. It's all about the footwork, getting the right distance between the ball and yourself. And how much will Serena gamble on this second serve coming up from Capriati? To show us how confident she is right now. Ooh, a toss from Capriati was all over the place. over the oh, net, the hit it with such force, and didn't think it could go over. And Venus and Serena have a pretty good looking trophy case at home. You can see they have three US Open trophies between them. Serena was the first in 99. Since then, Venus with four majors, two each, Wimbledon and US. But you better believe Serena wants to catch up and catch up quickly. Serena beat Venus at the NASDAQ 100. A bit of finesse play from both. Counts to zero. Serena starting to relax a little bit, starting to move forward to the court. That's where she's been so successful, looking for the short reply. Serena Williams has a very aggressive second serve. And she has also has a very interesting record in the majors. She usually gets to at least to the quarterfinals. Loses before then very seldom, but had a bit of a drought getting through to the finals. Until counts. last year's US Open. You're watching live women's semi-final action. Serena Williams taking on Jennifer Capriati. They're playing for the number two position in the world, and they're playing for a spot in the French Open final to take on either Venus Williams or Clarissa Fernandez, who play after this match. Serena had a big problem last year trying to close out some matches. I mean, in the quarters of the Australian Open, she was playing Martina Hingis. She served for the match, lost it in the third, very close third set. Then here against Capriati, Wimbledon in the quarter, served for the match against Capriati, couldn't win it. Had a bunch of match points against Monica Sellis. I think it was in Los Angeles in early August, which continued that run of not being able. And that's why we mentioned that Canadian Open win as being so vital to Serena just before the U.S. Open last year. This match started off with two breaks in a row and Serena Williams with a chance here to hold serve. Williams. Serena Williams Mademoiselle holds Williams serve, 2-1 with serve. They traded breaks, live semi-final action. I've seen a few of the shots of the Davis Cup there. The French are very proud of and Whoever wins this match will have a shot at another big trophy. Oh. Players getting the ball so flat so far in this match. We've seen a lot of net courts.
Vicenza. Serena did well to get back in that point. Jennifer was dictating. But still, a little uneasy with her ground strokes. Yeah, they're still trying to find their range out there. That's clear. Both players committing a few unforced errors early on. A couple of big hitters. They haven't played on this court in a few days. In fact, Capriotti, despite being the defending champion, has not been out here very much at all. Opened up on court two. Got moved the other day as well. Capriotti distracted by something. I, I thought she was going to argue the call, but I don't think it was the call at all. I think it was some noises or some movement over on the side of the court where the photographers are sitting. Deuce. Well, for the first time in the match, Anne Lassier Ulrich makes that familiar jump down, and it is a fault. Will not improve Capriotti's mood right now. Take a look at shot spot. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about that call. You know, I think on close calls like that, we need to call it shot spec because that's all that's in it. Right. Well, Capriotti follows it up with a big forehand. She's always looking to move in when she sees her opponent stretching out wide. We've talked about how similar their game styles are, and you're just waiting to see which one can take the initiative in the rally first, who can have that first strike. Avantage, Mademoiselle Williams. Break point. Capriotti would love to be able to hold serve for the first time. She's held a game point. Oh. Comes up with a good serve towards the body. I think that's an important serve for Capriotti to use today. Take away those angles from Serena. Dead aim for that corner and hit it. But again, she directed that serve up the middle of the service box. Serena had to get out of the way. Couldn't really go for the return. Game point. Does himself. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh, boy, exist. you don't see that very often. Two let cords in a row on the second serve. Capriati just needs to reach up a touch more. Game's picking up. Let the games begin, the crowd says. That was fantastic defending by Jennifer Capriotti. I think she wants a the towel. About to... That or oxygen. <laughs> a few extra seconds. Oh, by the way, it's two all. Faites silence, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Oh, they're just having a great time. Let them be. They haven't seen enough women's tennis on this court recently. It's been days. Between the rain and they scheduled all four quarterfinals on court Susan Long Long, which is not the court where they play the finals. Very controversial. In fact, all the top players joined together and they're signing a petition really complaining about that situation. They feel at least two of the quarterfinals should be on the center court. Counsel. Great deep return from Capriati, but really at the French and Wimbledon, the women unfortunately get a few slaps in the faces in the media, a couple of months ago, Wimbledon said, well, they had it right, and that the U.S. Open and the Australian who pay, pay equal didn't have it right. Didn't make people very happy. 15 all. It's a great return of serve. Capriotti. And a different play. It wasn't just point. about the return. It's what Capriotti did with her positioning. That's right. She hit it and she was moving into the net, putting the pressure on Serena. She took that second serve very early. Wow. Talk about taking a first serve early. Capriotti met that first serve that was fired down and Tonta. sent it back with interest. 30 all. rallies of the match so far. Capriotti told us the other day after beating Dockett that she loves to run. She, lo she knows that she can rely on her defense. Great point here. Actually, the last couple of the rallies in this game have reminded me of that Dockett match. Capriotti won 6-1 in the third. Good preparation for playing Serena.
to find the court, but boy, oh boy, are we seeing some great power play court tennis. Live semifinal action, Capriati and Serena, they're playing for the number two position in the world in a spot in the final. Jennifer Capriati with a break of serve up 3-2. That's one of the great French players, one of the three musketeers, I believe, going back, hitting the overhead. Fantastic era in French tennis in the 20s. Capriati serving for 4-2. No, that was that was whatever is harder than hard. And, and they're both and on the, the baseline. Veuillez éteindre vos téléphones portables, merci. The old please turn off the telephone in France. But uh, they both are on the baseline or inside for the first serves. Quinze trente. Serena's starting to loosen up that right arm. She's really tagging those last two returns. 15.30. And so Jennifer goes on the offensive with her serve, but misses it long. Oh. Too good. A couple of break points coming up. Serena is just so dangerous when she's moving in to the court, having her whole body weight shifting forward. And she's like, that's what I need to do. Ooh, it was an awkward return. It was such a great first serve, but Serena Williams able to get it back and get the break back. So that's a couple of times now we've seen an exchange of breaks in the first set of this first semifinal live from Paris. Three all. I think it's so hard sometimes for both of them because they are both so quick. They run down so many balls against most of the players. The rallies are over ah! after some of those huge forehands and backhands. Seen four breaks of serve so far, and you figure the returner is going to certainly have some great moments in this semifinal. Those players serving in the mid 50s first serve percentage. Serena's dropping down closer to right on the 50 mark. Double fault. Second one for the match. some trouble. These are Serena Williams' first serves. The Reds are the aces. You can see besides the aces and one or two others, the placement is not that good. It is not as good as it's been in the last few matches for Serena. I think she's feeling the pressure of the Capriati return, trying to go for a little more. Talk about going for a little more. Gambled on that one and missed. Capriati back on top. 4-3 first set. Four three, Jennifer Capriati up a break again. First set of the first semifinal. Senior PGA Championship presented by Raymond James Financials coming up next year on ESPN. Con coverage continues over on ESPN two tomorrow at noon.
Tom Watson is the defending champ and a good friend of mine, Dave Eichelberger, came in second place last week. And also three-time winner Gary Player and former champion Jack Nicklaus are in the field. Jack who? Yeah. 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 Oh, Nicholas, okay. <laughs> Talk about knowing how to play in majors. Jack Nicholas knew a thing or two. About pressure. Good to see his back better, letting him play some. Love 15. Well, you would expect if the server has to hit the second serve, they're going to struggle. Has a taunt. Both players around 30% or just under in the case of Serena Williams when they have to sit, hit that second serve. 15-30. Oh! But it's so tough because if you just kind of guide it in, push it in, Serena's going to attack it. Only 4 of 13 with the second serve today, Capriati. And we've seen a lot of neck cords on second serve. Sometimes that can actually be because you're going for it a little bit more. Trying to hit it harder. Ooh. Counts right count. over, just over the service line. I think that's okay. I think it's all right to take a few risks with the second serve when you know you're facing an opponent who can punish it. Double break point. To Serena tried to unload on that backhand. She was too deep in the court. It's a low percentage shot. We've only seen two holds. They traded holds in the third and fourth games of this semifinal. Looking for the server to maybe dig their way out of trouble Calenta. once that can perhaps change things around. Capriati fighting off two break points. Deuce. There again, Capriati just kicking that serve in. Serena with a huge return. Capriati doing a great job of just getting it back. Serena with another break point in this game. Merci. Neck court judge is going to be sore from raising his right arm up. Oh. I mean, that's a big Can mess. She's had a few in this game, Serena. A little bit off balance hitting from her back foot. She's at her best when she's leaning forward. That's two returns in a row missed. And they weren't huge first serves. They should have been put back into the court. And now Capriati with a point for 5-3. has to be much better than that. Hey, Serena team. saw the drop shot coming, got herself there, slid into it. Much better adjustment with that short ball. Another game point for Capriati. She barely gets 
gets to a very good drop shot. Serena Williams now will serve to stay in the first set, and she's only held once. Mom and Dad watching Jennifer in this great hustle up to that drop shot, forcing Serena to hit that extra pass. They kind of were moving forward with her, pushing her to get there. Sure, Look at her feet. She's just, yep. She is eager and ready. Zero counts. Now, Serena right now has gotten a little bit out of sync. She needs to take her time and kind of do that thing where she looks at her strings that she's been doing so well this championship. Refocus. Love 15. Nothing much right now is going it's right for fault. Serena Williams. Double fault by just a fraction. Love 30, two points away from the first set, Capriotti. Oh. with a clenched fist because she now has three set points. Serena winning very few points on serve. More break points for Capriati and set points. Michael, everyone around here is a little bit depressed about the French team not having a win yet, but Capriati is very pleased with that first set. Six games to three, all sorts of action on what was supposed to be just women's semifinal day, but they had so much catching up to do because of the weather. The men's quarterfinals were finished, and Karecha finishing off Pavel. That match was started a couple of days ago. Pavel had a child in the meantime. It took so long to finish that match. Ferrero in four sets over Agassi. And that was a disappointing match for Agassi. He tried everything out there, but Ferrero just so tough. He was just perfect today. Talk about perfect. Look at Safin, his score. He was very impressive. He dominated over Grosjean. Grosjean, the last hope of the French crowd in this tournament. They seem to have turned some of their affection to Capriotti. They loved her win here last year. Now, the pattern of their matches recently has been such that you would expect Serena to get things back together. Venus Williams certainly has had things together. She will be playing next. <laughs> Venus Williams taking on Clarissa Fernandez. Venus looking for major title number five with two more wins here. Zero trente. You usually see some major momentum shifts when these two play.
big miss on that overhead from Serena. I think she's just been a little too tight in this match. I think she wants it so badly. So much is riding on this match for Serena. She wants to win a Grand Slam. She wants to get to two in the world. Tonta. And it's really not letting her relax and play smoothly out there. She's had too many unforced errors. Trying to do a little too much at times. 40-30. From Love 30 just throws in a bunch of mistakes. She's trying to regroup. A vital game for Calenta. Serena Williams, who goes back to that familiar look of her racket strings. This is something new in the last, say, couple of months. Getting into the ritual of the sameness between points. to do because if Capriati's wrong she loses the point and it was a lob so it's not like the mark is going to be like a normal mark but a clear signal about Capriati's too experienced for her to be wrong on that she took an extra stare to make sure before she stopped and on shot spot it was clear just a couple inches out game point for Capriati remember Serena had 30 love love 30 rather in this game If you want to catch up on all of today's action here at Roland Garros, be sure to tune in to ESPN2 tonight at 7 Eastern. We'll show you match of the day and a lot more. And ESPN tomorrow at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific for men's semifinal action. The Spaniards are having a fantastic French Open. As usual. And the American women equally as terrific. becomes a very big game for Serena on serve. She's really struggled with her serve. She only won five of 25 service points, which is unbelievable considering how well Serena's been serving. That's when she hasn't hit an ace. She has snuck in a couple of aces. Capriati misses that return, but she's really been seeing the serve well. She's been timing it. She's been staying close to that baseline, taking a short backswing. That graphic we showed you a couple points ago, when the rally has started on Serena's serve, she really is struggling. But if she wins it, like she has the last two points with either a missed return or an ace, she's a little more successful on serve. Is Serena just overhitting the ball? Do you think she's being too aggressive? I think she's hesitating. I think even though she's going after the ball sometimes, she's not sure and she's not committed to her shot. Still has a couple of points here to hold serve, something she's managed only to do once so far in the semifinal. Seldom, if ever, see Capriati lose her balance like that. She's such a great athlete. 
And again, then Lizette Williams. That was a little slippery near that baseline. Sometimes the clay can be a little inconsistent. You'll see her right foot. Just she can never get it back. She almost does. Serena Williams holds serve, and boy, was that vital for Williams. One all. Jennifer's footwork has been so much better than Serena's in this match. She's the one that has been taking those little steps to adjust, looking to attack. One of the better backhands from Serena in this match. Better footwork. Got her weight going counts. forward into the court. She's been off balance so often today. has just played some great tennis against others ranked around her. Hurt. You can see the winning streaks against Capriati and Kleisters at four apiece. Hinga, she's beaten three times in a row and finally beat her sister, the NASDAQ 100 in the semifinals. That was a big mental victory for Serena. She was in shock after the match. Couldn't believe she finally did it in a WTA Tour event. Love 30. Zil Gaunt. Are we seeing one of these momentum shifts that we spoke about? Serena Williams just held serve for only the second time of the match, and now Capriotti at triple break point. Oh, this is, you hate this as the server. <laughs> Jennifer hates it. Because it's an ace, Obviously. except for one big problem. It just clipped the net. And she's been clipping it so often. That time she tried to go through it. From an ace Williams. to a double fall from Williams. Serena Williams, it means a break of serve. She's now up a break, 2-1. She needs to get this second set to send it to a third. La Tour Eiffel, not too far away from Roland Garros. If you don't like the match and you're sitting up that high, you just turn oh, around and catch a glimpse. 6-3, Capriati, break a serve to Serena Williams. These two are playing their 10th meeting against one another, and it's almost guaranteed that it's gonna be a dramatic, outstanding match. They played so many close matches in their rivalry. So many three-setters. The last one a couple weeks ago in Rome, 7-5 in the third for Serena. And it's just really been a few points here and there that have determined the results of their matches. Zero counts. We'll see if Serena can consolidate the break of serve. She's been having a lot of trouble Holding on to a serve. Taking a little extra time. From Serena, a little bit Kenza. more patient. Not aiming so close to the line. She really accelerates through this forehand cross score. That's her favorite one. How she covers it, adding a little extra topspin. You can see, though, if she covers it too early, why so many early on went into the net. Halt again. Be happy to get a free point on her serve. There you see a little spot of the program. And a glass of champagne. 
A little early to send any up here to the booth. Well, it seems pretty clear we have a momentum shift to, to Serena. It's a combination of better play from Serena Williams and some more unforced errors like that last miss from Capriati. Two points here for 3-1. Still one more game point. forehand from Serena Williams. I think it's just too big a swing. It's just too unmanageable when it gets so big at the backswing. So from 40-15, it's now Deuce, and Williams in danger of losing this little momentum swing that went her way the last couple of games. Great angle that time from Serena pulling Jennifer off the court. Jennifer really has to take advantage of the fact that Serena's missing so many first serves, giving her the opportunity to get in the rally early. Game point. The headband came off Serena Williams' hair. This is kind of interesting because you're allowed one free, you know, you can, a ball can slip out of your pocket or the headband, but... And what, what was just worn there to Serena was that if it happens again, she's going to lose the point. And something down at the quarterfinals of the Australian Open against Davenport with Venus a few years ago when the beads came off a couple of times and Venus lost a point and it was very traumatic. Again, they play two on this one. Advantage Williams. You notice the headband is now not on the head. She's not going to take that chance. Three games to one, second set. Much better attitude for Serena in this point, hitting behind Jennifer. That's a smart play against a quick player. And then just gives it her all behind that forehand winner. 3-1 Serena. See, now that's a more compact swing. Exactly. That return a serve, and she needs to do that some at the back of the court when she's been missing some of the forehands. Oh, 
0-30. Fifth double fault for Capriati. And the crowd showing their support to the defending champion. Jennifer kind of hitting her racket against her hand. Looks like she's wondering about the tension of the racket. Maybe thinking it was flying a little bit on the serve, but no problems with the forehand. Seen so many different kinds of weather changes during this championship. And boy, can that make the racket and the strings and the ball, everything feel a little bit different. And you know, both players probably have a few rackets strung with different tensions, just in case there is another weather change. When it's warmer and hotter, players like to play with a little tighter strings for more control, but when it gets heavy, you want a little looser. Get a little bit more on your shots. Call to Gallant. Break point. Gallant's up. Again, off balanced. Serena, she's not moving her feet. As much as we've seen her, she's not taking those little steps to adjust. Another good serve into the body, and Capriati stops the little run of three games in a row for Serena Williams, but she's up a break in the second. First set, Capriati, 3-2, Serena Williams up a break, and Serena Williams has hit a few winners in this match. Here are the locations, obviously well to the corner, a great angle there, short. And on the forehand, Serena Williams has gotten a little bit uh, big with some backswing, but this is going to be a return of serve that is perfect. It's into the body, which we've seen a lot from Capriati. Look how short that take back is, and that's one of the winners off the racket of Serena Williams. So much better, Serena, when she's compact Kansas on that forehand. She's had 12 on the forehand winners, five on the backhand. In that last rally, you can see how early Serena was taking that racket back to get prepared to hit her backhand. like an attempted sort of change of pace that just kind of got mixed up with more of a power shot. Capriani, not many winners. Only 5% of the shots of the points ending up with Capriati hitting a winner. But she's chasing down a lot of balls, forcing Serena to hit that extra shot, and Serena's missing a lot. <laughs> attached to 
it like Velcro the whole way up that line. What a terrific double-handed backing up the line. She aimed down that line, saw it, and boom, perfect. She didn't think Serena was going to get a racket on it, but Serena did, so that was not an outright winner against anybody else, but maybe Venus, that would have been a winner. It's one of the reasons why Capriati has so few winners is because Serena does such a great job chasing down balls from so far outside the court. That double fault brings up a chance for Capriati to get back on serve. Another possible momentum shift. Capriati was almost down two breaks, but held on to serve barely in the last service game. Stephen Capriati actually gave a little signal of yes, it was long. Sometimes it helps when you get a close call in a huge match. You just see everything in, it seems like. And you look over to your camp, it's nice to get confirmation. What a great time to hit one of her best serves of the match. There's the Capriati camp. Steven in the red shirt on the left, Denise Capriati in the middle, and a nervous Stefano looking down. If Serena can start serving like she has these last two points, it'll just lift her confidence. I think she'll relax and be able to play a little bit more aggressively and safely from the back. What a hold of serve from 1540 down. Serena comes back with four straight points to extend her lead in the second set to four games to two. And again, another huge first serve to set up this forehand winner. And that's got to give Serena a boost in her confidence because she's really been struggling on her serve. She hasn't had many free points at all. And that should help her to relax now in this return of serve game. Take some of the pressure off. Zero counts. Serena knows she can rely on that big serve to get her out of some trouble. Then it changes the whole complexion of the match. Counts up. Serena felt she was falling back on that return, and that's why it flew long. There's a shot of the scoreboard here. Taking that backhand so early makes all the difference when you can take away some time from Capriati. Again, Serena stepping it up. Now instead of hitting the ball and just being stationary, she's hitting it and moving in. 15-40, double break point. So successful when she's coming in because she's coming in behind such a big shot. Boy, oh boy, oh, we're seeing some fantastic shots. That's Francesco Ricky Bitti, who's president of the International Tennis Federation. They gave out their world championship crowns the other night at a dinner here, Capriati world champion on the women's side, Leighton Hewitt on the men's.
Unforced error from Jennifer Capriotti, and she knows she's in deep, deep trouble in this second set after winning the first 6-3. Capriotti is one game away from losing the second. This crowd, sellout crowd, is watching live women's semifinal action. This is semifinal number one. Jennifer Capriotti, the defending champ, won the first set 6-3. Serena Williams is serving for the second set. These two have had amazing matchups the last couple of years. Pam Shriver, Mary Jo Fernandez, the semifinal after this. It's Venus Williams against the outsider, Clarissa Fernandez. What a fabulous last name. She's definitely got the right name. A lefty from Argentina, who's had an amazing run through in her first French Open. First French Open in the main draw. She lost in the qualifying last year in the first round. Capriotti hits the corner. He's going to love 15. Second overhead, we've seen won't. Serena miss, but that one was tough. Not much time to get back. It was the right shot selection from Capriotti. She saw Serena leaning forward. Had to put the brakes on. Let's see how far behind her head she hit that overhead. Well, here's some chances for Capriotti to get one of the breaks back. Love 40. Williams serve. Match has been on an hour and 11 minutes. It's almost into the third set. Not a very good game for Serena Williams as she was trying to serve out the second set. Brandy Williams looks on. Her daughter still has a break advantage, and Jennifer now will serve to stay in the second set. Just not a confident Serena Williams at all serving for that set. Capriotti angry with herself because she knows that Serena Williams kind of opened the door for Capriotti to make a comeback here in the second set. She doesn't want to see love 15. Pretty volley by Serena. She's improved her volley so much in the last 12 months. Takes a split step, keeps that wrist firm. Take another look. She got so low for that with her racket head. Love 30. inside the baseline Serena was waiting for that reply from Capriotti not expecting Capriotti to be able to do so much with the forehand
such a fine line for Capriati. She knows Serena's making a lot of mistakes, but on the other hand, she knows Hold Serena up. has the capability of stepping it up. So she has to stay aggressive. She did in that last rally. Capriati stepped it up the last couple of points to come back from love 30. Another aggressive point by Capriati. Talk about aggressive. French television in charge of our pictures, so occasionally someone flashes before our screen. We have no idea who they are. Capriati making a comeback run in the second set. She was down 5-2. Serena has served for it once, and when we come back, she'll serve for the second set once again to send the semifinal to a third. Serena Williams serving for the second set, 5-4. She was up 5-2. Coming up after this is big sister Venus taking on Clarissa Fernandez. It's right after this match. Probably easier to play first, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I was just about to say, the U.S. Open that time when Serena won it. Venus followed up after a great win of Serena over Davenport. Venus came out and struggled <laughs> against Hingis. But at the U.S. Open last year, I believe it was Serena also who played first, beat Hingis, and then Capriati, Venus semifinal. Of course, they faced off against one another in the U.S. Open final eight months ago. 15 love. But it's got to be tough to be watching this match right now. Well, knowing that you have to go on and play. You're nervous enough as it is for your match, but now you're nervous for your sister to get through her semis. Oh. These are all huge points for both players. Serena in the middle of this set won five of six games, but is struggling to close out the second set. up 108 mile an hour first serve with a big miss on the forehand 1530 it's like she's not ready for the ball to come back after the big serve Capriati Let's out a little breath there because she knows that she's one point away from climbing way back in this second set. A great conversion rate on the break points, five of eight. game is. Serena's already come back from 1540 once to win a game in this set. She hopes it's twice. Hope she can get a big first serve in here. Support Jennifer Capriati. Great hands by Capriati getting that first serve back. 
Putting the pressure on Serena to come up with the volley. And Serena's rattled right now. She's just having such a tough time when she's ahead. Finishing off her games. For Serena. Here Taking a little bit off the ball, just getting it back in play. And the good thing is that she can rely on her wheels. She can chase a lot of balls down and just force Capriati to hit some more shots. That was a little close. And I think when you're not confident, it's better to play it safe. Aim deep down the middle of the court. She's missing way too many balls by a lot. Wow. The net court has been like a third person throughout this semifinal, and it gets in the way here. Gabriati crushes that passing shot. It is low. And up for the short ball. A little balancing act. 40-15. Oh. What an angle. Still another point for Capriati to take a lead here in the second set after being down two breaks, 5-2, with Serena Williams to serve twice for the second set. Capriati won. They applauded through most of the change events. They have really supported Capriati. Capriati playing inspiring so tennis in the last couple games, chasing so many balls down, coming up with some big forehands, some huge backhands down the line, and now the pressure all on Serena's shoulders. She's lost four games in a row. Typical of the kind of set that these two have been playing the last couple of years. So many momentum swings, a lot of unpredictable tennis. Got the serve she wanted. It was right there sitting for her to hit. It's the right attitude to go for it right now. 30 love. <laughs> 